Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 41 of chapter 8. If theta is 30 degrees, determine the minimum coefficient of a static friction at A and B. So the equilibrium of the supporting frame is maintained regardless of the mass of the cylinder. Neglect the mass of the rods. So we have two members in this frame. So we can draw the free body diagram for each or the exploded free body diagram. So if I draw the free body diagram, here at A, I have the normal force. Then I have the friction force, which is resisting the motion to the left, so it would be to the right. And at C, I have Cx and Cy, the forces that is exerted by the P. We are neglecting the weight of the rods, so there is no weight. And then I have the other member, which is technically symmetric, so it would be everything would be the same. I have MB. I have FB, which is resisting the relative motion. And here, the forces that are acting by the pin on the member would be CX, but the force in Y direction would be different, C prime Y, because we have an external load applied at the pin. So when we put the two members together, the horizontal component of the force should go away but the vertical component of the force should add up to our external load. So let's look at the problem and see how many unknowns we have. We have Cx as unknown, we have Cy, we have C prime Y, Na, Fa, Mb, and Fb. That means that we have seven unknowns and then we can only write three equilibrium equation for each free body diagram. So total six equation. We have a relation between Na and Fa, but in that relation we need mu, which we don't have. You might say that, oh, they are symmetric. We don't need to find unknowns. That's true. If they are symmetric, we can only analyze only one free body diagram. Therefore, we have less unknown, but also less number of equations as well. So we can write the moment equation about this point and then find the relation between the two because we don't need the values for Fa and Na. We only need the relation between the two so we can find the coefficient of a static friction. Let's go by that approach and then we'll talk about the alternative approach. So moment equation about point C counterclockwise to be positive. Fa creating a counterclockwise. The moment arm if the total distance is L. If this is theta, then the moment arm for Fa would be simply L cosine theta. And for Na would be this distance, would be L sine theta. These are the moment arm, so L cosine theta, or cosine 30 here. Na L sine theta, or sine 30 equals 0. So if I replace this with mu Na, I will find, I cross out Na from each side. If I move it to the other side, I will find mu to be equal to tangent 30. So it would be 0 0.77. So we found the value for mu without finding the value for Fa or Na by simply writing a moment equation about point C. But also we can, the other approach is that to look at the problem and identify that member AC is a two force member. Why? Because we have forces applied only at two location. So what does that mean when a member is a two force member? What is the consequence? That means that the member is either in tension or compression. So the, the summation of these forces should be in this direction. I call this F and this angle is theta or 30 degrees, which means that Fa would be F sine theta or sine 30 here, and Na 
would be f cosine 30 and if mu is f a over n a that means that we have tangent 30 so we use the definition of a two fourth member to identify that we don't have we don't know n a or f a but we know at the end they have to be towards the member similarly for cx and cy if you wanted to find a value and call this force fc it has to be towards the member because it's a two-fourths member 